Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another game unboxing thing. In this episode, we're taking a look at Dungeon in a Box. This is the monthly subscription service, and this is the February Dungeon in a Box. So, cool. Uh, this thing just came in the mail the other day, so I'm excited to see what we get this month. Um, you can check out their website. I'll put a link down below so y'all can kind of check it out. But uh, So this is my second Dungeon in a Box crate. Uh, so for those of you not familiar with it, it's basically just a kind of like a loot crate subscription service uh, specifically targeted at uh, Dungeons and Dragons kind of adventure module things. So yeah, um, we got this one in and we just want to take a look and see what's inside of it here. So it comes in the standard box itself. Uh, very kind of straightforward. Not a whole lot going on, but it's a cool looking box. Anyways, they've uh, got a nice design going on. Anyhow, let's go ahead and just open this thing and take a sneak peek. Cool. So we have the, uh, let's uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see all this at one time. Uh, this is the dungeon in the box module for this month. This is Streets Unseen. So pretty cool looking. Uh, I do like the fact that it is nice and glossy. Very cool looking uh, laminated board stuff. <laughs> um, 20 some pages inside of here. 22 pages this time. Very cool. So you can kind of flip through it here and see some of the cool stuff that's going on. Very nice. Their modules have been uh, pretty good to run so far. Um, again, this is just my second crate, so uh, haven't used them for a very long time, but I do like what I've seen so far. So there is the uh, the actual module itself. We also get uh, two miniatures this time. So we get a set of three cultists. This is from uh, Reaper Bones. Yes, very cool. Um, kind of straightforward. I don't have any of these, so it's a, a good set to have. I do like the Reaper Bones miniatures, so this is cool. And we also get the, uh, let's see how badly I can butcher the name on this. Aluvaseth, Aluvasheth Succubus Queen. So, again, another Reaper Bones miniature. Um, this one looks really cool. Got some really nice detail in it. It's a slightly different take um, other than the cultist here, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> let's see what else we get. Uh, let's go in here. We got a nice uh, kind of wax paper bag here. And usually these are extra tokens to uh, enhance your gameplay. So uh, we've got Stalwart Companions and Wronged by the Law. Pretty cool. Stick those back in here. Uh, you can kind of use these as like inspiration in your game. Kind of neat. We get a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these cool bases. Nice uh, clear plastic bases. Um, these are made specifically for these guys right here. So this is a cutout from this board here. But basically you just kind of plug these into this little notch here and you've got some nice little stand-ins for character players and non-character players and things like that. So that's cool. These just come in handy. Uh, while we're looking at it, uh, let's look at the actual standees we get this time. So this uh, city guardsman here came loose, so eh. But we get uh, some other cool characters here. Very nice looking. Let's... Uh, Move that up so you can kind of see all these guys up close. And they are front and back, so those are always very nice to have. It's a little bit easier to maintain these things than uh, some of the actual miniatures. And they do look pretty nice on the actual uh, player board, so I give them a hand for that. Next up we have a set of little punch-out boards. Let's uh, open this guy up here. 
So we get, it looks like just uh, one punch out board. I thought it was two here, but uh, no, just one. Uh, it is front and back. <clears throat> so we get a wagon, some crates and things, a horsey, a ladder. I don't know what that is. A nice kind of vendor stall and a treasure trove thing and another horsey. And on the back side, we've got uh, the inside of a wagon, more barrels and crates and things. The other part of the vendor stall, a crate, and another thing I got no idea about. Another kind of uh, buried treasure kind of thing here, a cool well, and another vendor tray. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Cool. I'll set that to the side. Uh, then we have... Looks like the map for the module for this time and that's the last thing we got in the box here um, but we do get a cool map play mat however you want to look at it nice double-sided so it's a kind of a street fair looking thing uh, can't fit all of this on the board but we'll kind of shove it around here so you can kind of see most of it and a cool looks like tavern kind of thing here so Got some sleeping quarters down here. Cool common area here. And uh, more lunch room, <laughs> storage room over here, and uh, horse stables. So that's actually pretty cool. I do like these double sided maps here. And this one's a really nice one. Uh, I do like the barrack system they got here. So that's really nice. So yeah, that's uh, everything in this, uh, what is it, February? February Dungeon in a Box. So yeah, what do y'all think about this particular session module thing? Um, if you've used this crate system before, you know, what was your experiences with it? How did you like it? Um, I'm really digging this Succubus Queen anyways, and uh, these cultists are pretty nice also. So I'm glad to get those. I need to get started painting them, but they are cool. Streets Unseen. That is Dungeon in a Box for February 2019. So yeah, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this haul. Uh, if you'd like to see something specific looked at in future episodes, let me know that as well. And I'll see what I can do to get it in front of y'all. And yeah, that's uh, going to be it for today. So... Till next time, game on.